Hey, what's going on, friends? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're all staying safe at home, self-isolating, hanging out with your families, bettering yourselves in whatever way you can. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's Chelsea video, which is on Russian billionaire owner Roman Abramovich. That's right, the big man who came to Chelsea in 2003 bought up the South West London club because Chelsea were in the Champions League for the following season. And of course, the rest is history. He pumped his personal finance into Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea then grew and developed into what is, I suppose, a European superpower today in European football. But let's not forget, Chelsea was still the top four team when Abramovich bought Chelsea. I just want to throw that in there because people often forget that. Anyway, we all know the situation with Abramovich at the moment. He has been absent from Stamford Bridge for about two years because he does not have a visa which allows him to visit the UK for work. Is watching your football team working? I guess it could be seen that way. He can actually visit the United Kingdom with his Israeli passport but obviously to watch his team play could be considered work, therefore he cannot attend games. Interesting. So why? What's happened? What is Abramovich's current stance on Chelsea Football Club? And maybe the UK government? Has his intentions changed? Well, I'm gonna cover a lot of that in today's video. I wanna do another shout out to Liam Twomey of The Athletic, a Chelsea writer and a journalist for The Athletic, who knows loads about Chelsea. And again, I heard him speaking on the TIFO Football Podcast and a couple of things he said I'll be citing in this video. I just like to give a shout out to where I get information from sometimes, even if it's just a fleeting sentence. I just feel it's fair. Right, so a lot to crack into in today's video, but I wanna remind you guys quickly to subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so because the majority of my viewership are not subscribed so it just takes this millisecond if you plan on returning and coming back why not just subscribe man hit that bell notifications icon as apparently that is important and if you want to help me out like the video support your boy all right let's get into it right Roman Abramovich has renewed his visa the same way at Chelsea Football Club ever since he purchased Chelsea. Basically, it's on like a rolling contract, I suppose. I'm not sure contract would be the proper term, but basically every now and again, he'd apply through the same means, get it granted, and he'd just carry on working at Chelsea. Last time he applied to renew his visa, like he always has done, it didn't come back approved. Certainly, not straight away. Now, the common misconception with this situation is, did Roman Abramovich's visa get denied? And the truth is, no, it didn't. That's one thing that gets lost in this whole story that everyone always talks about or it's printed in the media. He didn't have his visa denied. He withdrew his application. Now, he withdrew his application because there was delays. There was something peculiar about the process, whether that was uh, you know, additional evaluation, whether that was other politics going on. I'm sort of inclined to think the latter. Now, <laughs> a lot of stuff went on with the UK government and Russia at the time, and some people speculate there could be a fallout and the way they wanted to deal with people like these oligarchs like Abramovich in terms of granting them visas willy-nilly. Yes, that's an English term if you're not from the UK. And I think he might have felt a bit scapegoated, so he withdrew his visa application. Perhaps that, perhaps his feelings were hurt and he was frustrated and like I said, felt scapegoated. Or perhaps he didn't want the government looking too closely on his accounts, which, you know, perhaps they were threatening to do. So he was like, you know what, that's cool man, I'm out, just, just, I didn't want it anyway. Now I'm not suggesting anything for a minute that Roman Abramovich has got anything unsavory going on. I'm just giving you the options of what potentially might be the reasons of why he withdrew his application. Abramovich has not reinstated his application ever since. A lot of people do speculate that he is very angry and frustrated with the UK government after putting so much into the UK economy with Chelsea, uh, you know, Fulham, London, probably feels a little bit hard done by. Like I said, he went to go and get his Israeli passport so he could visit the UK and travel around, and he still attended Chelsea games abroad. He attended the anti-Semitism game last season. He also attended the Europa League final in Baku, and you know, he looks happy as 
ever watching his team win. Remember, Abramovich is a big, big Chelsea fan and absolutely loved watching Chelsea play for the last 15 plus years, so it must hurt him quite a lot. So I want to address the perception of people thinking perhaps he's just not that interested in Chelsea Football Club anymore. Um, and the truth is, that's not the case. We all know last financial year he invested nearly a quarter of a billion of his own personal wealth into the club to balance the books when they had a transfer ban, when they weren't in the Champions League and the club was suffering financially. He put loads of his own personal wealth in to balance the book. Off the bat, that's a sort of massive demonstration of him still caring about the project. He also spends a lot of time and money into these campaigns like the anti-semitism campaign, well several campaigns, he's put millions and millions and millions into this and it's something that means a lot to him and he's using the platform of Chelsea Football Club as a face for his campaign which obviously means a lot to him as well as well as the football club showing he's still doing a lot of work. Another indicator of Roman Abramovich's frustration would be the withdrawal to expand Stamford Bridge. Obviously they're those excellent interesting and compelling plans to make a new Stamford Bridge by the same architects who made the stadium the bird's nest. The new idea for Stamford Bridge, the new design was very exciting in indeed. And although there were more and more costs coming into it and it was looking like it could be the most expensive stadium in Europe ever built, I'm not sure that was the reason why it was all pulled and shut down. Of course they've given financial and economical reasons for that, but I think as well, the fact how this was his baby, this was his project that he put a lot of his own money into, the fact how he wouldn't actually be able to visit his new stadium in the United Kingdom in Southwest London probably had a bit of a sort of contributing factor to why he was like, well, I want to go and build it then and spend all this money, pull it. So there's that. Abramovich still loves Chelsea and loves the community and wants to do what's right looking on the surface of things. For all this health crisis in Europe at the moment, Chelsea have done a lot of good. He's opened up the Millennial Hotel to NHS staff. He's paying all his workers full pay, which can't be said for all clubs in the Premier League. Chelsea are also donating to refugees as well. They're doing loads of help in the community and being widely recognized throughout general media that they're doing a lot of good throughout this crisis. He's not putting his face on it, and that's important to know. Roman Abramovich is, does not have an ego. He's not like some football owners that wants his brand, his face put on anything. In fact, Abramovich has only ever done one interview as Chelsea owner, and that's when he purchased the club back in 2003. So he hasn't got an ego to nurture. He's very much passive, relatively shy behind the scenes, just wants to run his football club, and in between, by all accounts, do what's right and charitable whether that's literal you know, support to the NHS in England or perhaps it's a sort of campaign for anti-Semitism and stuff like that. So he's using the platform Chelsea for good. He's very much still integrated into the project. As we know, he's put a lot of money recently into it and he still wants Chelsea to win. He speaks to Marina Granovskaya nearly daily about the sort of workings of the club and he's still integrated essentially. So what's the deal? How are things going to pan out with Roman Abramovich? Is he going to reapply for a visa at one point and then everything's going to go back to normal and he'll be in his box at Stamford Bridge applauding like he used to? I don't know. Maybe he's thinking after he does a bunch of good stuff for the UK that when he does eventually reinstate his application they'll just approve it quickly. This is something that none of us can be sure of because we don't know the full reasons why Roman originally withdrew his application to get a new visa. Maybe he's working on something the other end so that when he does reapply something's changed that should allow his application to be processed and accepted afterwards. Perhaps he has a line of communication with someone in the UK government and he's trying to find out what he needs to do to move forwards. But at the moment it doesn't look like much is happening apart from one thing we know, he's still very interested in Chelsea Football Club and, by all accounts, he's still doing very charitable things. So it's nice to hear from a Chelsea fan's perspective, but Chelsea fans adored Roman Abramovich. They want him back at Stamford Bridge applauding the team, and they want him as integrated and involved as possible. So, for the meantime, we'll have to watch this space. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in this video regarding Abramovich and Chelsea. Get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts on the subject. If you have enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you guys to like the video. That helps me out a lot. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're indeed new. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football and I'll see you later.
so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me 